there a red carpet look you regret wearing? Mm. Why would you put me on the spot like this? Ooh. Oh my God. It's gonna sound hypocritic, but, cause I did so much in my life. I had my nipples out, I had my panties out. But now those are the things like, I guess as a mom and like an evolved <laughs> young lady, young, emphasis on young. It's just things that I just feel like I would never do or I'm just like, oh my God, I really did that? Nips out. At least she's honest and she's taking accountability and responsibility for her past. But she's a billionaire and Asa Proki is willing to overlook her past. But for the average woman, majority of men won't. Christianity has become a safe haven for reformed prostitutes mm -hmm. who then move in and say, oh, well now I'm going to be chased and I'm going to follow all of the criteria which is required for a Christian. I'm a good girl now, right? I'm a good girl now. It's used as a form of camouflage in order to attract a mate later in life. And you just say, hey, I'm reformed, so you can't hold that against me. And that's what his point is, is a red flag. He's saying this is a massive red flag for men. And why wouldn't it be a red flag for men that suddenly your behavior massively changes, sometimes overnight? Shouldn't men be skeptical? Not I the right men. I don't really think I that's the case What do you mean not the right Wait, wait, why do you okay. mean not the right okay. men? That's the wrong kind of woman, right? He's the right kind of man, she's the wrong kind of woman. Isn't that the right way to phrase that? Sensational. <laughs> Why do guys not show love to us anymore? Let everybody know. Um, I think because of BBLs. BBLs? Yeah. They're taking over right now? Yeah, but for the wrong reasons. Why? Well, it's fake for one, and a lot of girls don't keep up with it, and then they get diaper. What does that mean? It means your butt is like pointing down because you're not doing It's like saggy. Yeah. Wow. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Yeah. That. We're going to cut the video. I'm done with that. Now I'm 95 years old. You're 95 That's years right. old. That's you look right. good for 95. That's that cause I don't run behind big asses and titties. That'll kill you. Y'all young men, y'all be screwing all these hoes out here. That's why y'all come up with arthritis and rheumatism. Your eyesight go bad. Your hair starts coming out. When you are uh, 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 over fuck yourself, you bring arthritis on your skin. Every time you drop that seed in her, yeah. your bone marrow and all that stuff from your head to your toe goes inside of her. And when you, when you have intercourse with your girlfriend, who always fall asleep first? The uh, man. Yeah, I fall And when you wake up, she done stole your wallet, stole your car keys, she gone about her business. Yeah, I gotta get that shit back. You have to eat right. Eat Stay right. away from McDonald's and Burger King. Don't drink sodas. No soda, no pussy, no McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the biggest, you can eat, but stay away from that pussy. If you ain't gonna marry that woman, don't stick your dick up in her. No. You don't know what disease she got. No. You're goddamn right. What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore? Women told men they are trash, they are useless, they don't need men, and all men should be killed. Then they went ahead and told us to stop talking to them and approaching them. Women told us to stop, so we did. Have we reached a point in society where men cannot even talk to women, look at women, or you know, give a woman a compliment uh, in person these days without fear of being shut down, of being accused of something or, or something else? Um, negative you know it seems like a lot of men that I've spoken to a lot of comments that I receive you know say that as a man you know many men are, are fearful of even looking at a woman in public in case she you know gets offended or in case she accuses him of something or something like that and you know, this just this week, I received a compliment from a man in person um, at school drop off time. <laughs> and um, I could tell he was all nervous, like as he walked my way, I don't didn't know what he was going to do. But um, it was a simple compliment. And and then he apologized. And it was, you know, very interesting to witness this conversation, even though I was a part of it to watch his, you know, demeanor and his behavior of you know, how he was sort of feeling uncomfortable in the situation. 
And when I said thank you and just received the compliment, I could tell that he instantly relaxed. Um, and then we went on to speak a little bit and he said, um, you know, that he's nervous to even look at um, women in public these days, um, particularly in their active wear, he said. <laughs> um, so, you know, it was an interesting conversation, but I want to, you know. What is your craziest story? I took five guys in one night. <gasps> at the same time? Not at the same time. This is the crazy part. They didn't know that I was taking turns on each of them because I would just be the one that was awake and then I'd wait for him to fall asleep and then I'd move on to one of his friends and I did this with the whole group oh my god in one night yeah that is crazy yeah so were you just taking them to a separate room to them or were you yeah talking? yeah well actually every single guy I did something different because this you know I just wanted to explore and I was making each guy do something different with me. So which one had the best? Oh my gosh, it was probably the third guy. He was one of my friend's boyfriends, and <laughs> she has no idea. Really? But he good. Yeah, exactly. Do you think the last guy who would be upset if he found out that you just four guys right before him? I mean, yeah, like I was in everything. <gasps> so he got that wasn't even my next question. You were yeah, yeah. So the last guy. I don't think he knew because it was dark. He must have just thought I was really. Did any of them? I think the second guy did. Yeah, the second guy. But the first guy. Yeah. Jesus can't save these hoes. She belongs to the streets. This is going to be somebody's future wife, and she's going to tell him that my past is in my past, and it doesn't matter. Gentlemen, if you don't vet a woman before taking her seriously, you're going to end up with a three or four like this. This is how much I make in a week as a Miami stripper. We don't care. She belongs to the streets. This is just my personal opinion. But men will ask for peace. What the fuck was that? When you meet a man and he likes you, the reason he wants to get to know you better is because he wants to have sex with you. So he basically falls in love with your looks. But once he spends time with you and he gets to know you better, him liking you for how you look will turn into him loving you for who you are. And that is where we women make a big mistake. We always believe because he loves us so much, he will marry us. But for him to choose you as his wife, it has not so much to do with love. Because if you're a woman who every now and then drives him crazy with complaining, with bad moods, then he might stay with you for years without actually marrying you. Because the most important thing a man seeks in a wife is that she gives him peace of mind. Uh, the worst STD to catch is herpes because you don't really get no benefit from it. But if you go and catch a long life STD like AIDS, Aiden, do you know what that do for you? What? You don't know? No. What does AIDS do for you? AIDS is the best STD you can catch. All right. Why? Uh, HIV in particular. Because huh? when you get HIV, Aiden, you get government assistance. You get food stamps. You get a handicap sticker. You get free insurance. You get free tuition. You get all of this shit with just having HIV. <laughs> and HIV don't even turn into AIDS anymore. If you want a free money glitch, Go out here and try to get AIDS. <laughs> Don't say Unfortunately, that. bro. I, 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 you think I'm bullshit? Bro. You think I'm bullshit? No, bro. But that's, come on. You don't want anyone getting HIV. Come on. That's crazy. You ain't got to work no more. Wait. They, and the medication is too good for you to not die from AIDS. But. Uh, it is a fucking. Every time on how my ex-girlfriend cheated on me with a guy, got pregnant and tried to convince me that the baby was mine. women <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil world we live in